The best spoof movies of all time. A side-splitting journey through cinema. Welcome to Science Deli, where we take you on an unforgettable journey through the world of cinema. We are diving into the best spoof movies of all time. Those films that hilariously poke fun at the genres we know and love. Whether it is buddy cop dramas, zombie apocalypses, or superhero blockbusters, these movies flip the script in the funniest way possible. So, grab your popcorn and get ready to laugh out loud as we explore these cinematic gems. Segment 1. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost The Spoof Duo Our journey begins with two of the most iconic names in modern spoof cinema, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. These two have perfected the art of parody, and nowhere is this more evident than in Hot Fuzz, 2007. Hot Fuzz is a brilliant send-up of the buddy cop genre, filled with every action movie cliché you can imagine, but with a British twist. Nicholas Angel, a top-notch London cop, is reassigned to a sleepy village, where he is teamed up with the bumbling Danny. Together, they stumble upon a gruesome mystery that turns this quiet town into a battleground of high-octane action scenes, all with a satirical edge. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost struck spoof gold again with Shaun of the Dead, 2004, where they take on the zombie genre with plenty of humor and heart. Shaun is your average underachiever until the zombie apocalypse hits London. What follows is a blend of horror and comedy that turns the undead into a backdrop for one of the most entertaining bromances in cinema history. Segment 2. Mockumentaries and Meta Humor Moving on from the British duo, let us head to New Zealand for one of the most unique takes on the mockumentary genre. What We Do in the Shadows, 2014. This film blends reality TV with vampire lore, offering a hilarious look into the lives of centuries-old vampires dealing with mundane millennial problems, like paying rent and keeping up with household chores. It is a brilliant example of how spoof films can take even the most overdone genres and breathe new, undead life into them. Even Disney is not safe from the world of spoofs. In Enchanted, 2007, the studio pokes fun at its own fairy tale formula. Giselle, a princess from an animated kingdom, finds herself thrust into the harsh realities of modern Manhattan. The result? A charming, self-aware spoof that both celebrates and gently mocks Disney's storied history of happily ever after. Segment 3. The Borat Phenomenon. Now, let us talk about a character who needs no introduction, Borat. Sasha Baron Cohen's creation took the world by storm with his brand of cringe comedy and biting satire. In Borat, Cultural Learnings of America for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan, 2006, we follow this clueless Kazakh journalist as he navigates American culture with one goal in mind, finding Pamela Anderson. Borat's adventures are a masterclass in parody, tackling everything from social norms to political absurdities with jaw-dropping humor. And just when you thought it could not get any more outrageous, Borat returned in Borat's subsequent movie film, 2020. This time, he takes on even bigger targets, including the pandemic, American politics, and more, all while delivering the same brand of cringe-inducing comedy that made the first film a sensation. Segment 4. Spoofing Sci-Fi and Action Films Next up, we blast off into space with Galaxy Quest, 1999, a razor-sharp satire of sci-fi fandom and TV shows. In this film, a group of washed-up actors from a 70s sci-fi show are accidentally recruited by aliens who think their on-screen exploits were real. It is a loving homage to Star Trek that is packed with laughs, but also with a surprising amount of heart. Galaxy Quest manages to be both a spoof and a sincere tribute to the genre it parodies. And we cannot talk about sci-fi spoofs without mentioning Spaceballs, 1987. Directed by Mel Brooks, this classic film takes aim at the Star Wars, Saga and other big-budget space epics. With a cast including John Candy, Rick Moranis, and Bill Pullman, Spaceballs delivers non-stop laughs as it mercilessly mocks the tropes of space adventures. Segment 5, Iconic Characters and Absurd Humor No list of spoof movies would be complete without mentioning The Naked Gun, 1988. Leslie Nielsen is the king of deadpan comedy, and here he plays Detective Frank Drebin, a clueless cop who somehow manages to bungle his way through a complex mind control plot. This film is packed with visual gags, puns, and one-liners that have made it a timeless classic in the spoof genre. 
Nielsen's straight-faced delivery of the most ridiculous situations is what makes the naked gun such a standout. Fast forward to the 21st century, and the superhero genre gets the spoof treatment with Deadpool, 2016. Ryan Reynolds shines as the foul-mouthed, fourth-wall-breaking anti-hero who is out for revenge, and not shy about making fun of the very genre he is part of. Deadpool and its sequel, Deadpool 2, 2018, turned the superhero genre on its head with irreverent humor, self-aware jokes, and a whole lot of attitude. It is a franchise that reminds us not to take our beloved superheroes too seriously. Segment 6, War and Apocalypse Spoofs. When it comes to spoofing action and war movies, Hot Shots is a must-watch. This film parodies Top Gun with over-the-top gags, one-liners, and a plot that is as ridiculous as it is entertaining. Topper Harley, a former Navy pilot haunted by memories of a jet accident, returns to active duty in this riotous comedy. It is a film that takes every military movie cliché and turns it into pure comedic gold. And then there's Tropic Thunder, 2008, a satire that pulls no punches when it comes to Hollywood's obsession with war movies. Ben Stiller, Robert Downey Jr., and Jack Black star as pampered actors who find themselves in actual combat while filming a big-budget war epic. The result is a film that is as clever as it is funny, with sharp commentary on the movie industry. Finally, we come to This Is The End, 2013, a film that parodies both apocalypse movies and celebrity culture. The twist? The celebrities are playing exaggerated versions of themselves. James Franco, Seth Rogen, and a host of other stars face the biblical apocalypse in what starts as a party and quickly turns into a fight for survival. This Is The End is a brilliant send-up of disaster movies and a hilarious look at Hollywood self-indulgence. Segment 7 animated and outrageous. Now, let us talk about Team America, World Police, 2004, an animated spoof that is as irreverent as they come. Created by the team behind South Park, this film uses marionette puppets to take aim at the global response to terrorism. Team America is a biting satire of both American foreign policy and the action movie genre, packed with the kind of outrageous humor that Trey Parker and Matt Stone are famous for. And last but not least, we have Sausage Party, 2016, a film that takes the concept of a family-friendly animated movie and flips it on its head. But do not be fooled by the cute animation. This is definitely not for kids. Sausage Party is a darkly humorous, adult-themed animation that parodies the wholesome vibe of films like Toy Story. It is a wild, often shocking ride that reveals what happens when our food fights back, and it is unlike anything you have seen before. And there you have it some of the best spoof movies of all time. Each of these films takes what we love about their respective genres and turns it into something hilariously unique. Whether you are a fan of action, horror, sci-fi, or superhero flicks, there is a spoof out there that is sure to leave you in stitches. Which spoof movie is your favorite? Did we miss any that should have made the list? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more hilarious takes on the world of cinema.